Hi, I'm Jeremy Sussman, a product manager for Google. I'm going to tell you about some of the ways we rank local information to give you the most relevant results possible. I'm also going to cover some of our newer products, such as Google Hotpot, Tags, and Boost. Let's start with how we rank places on Google. Say you're in Union Square in New York City and want to find a nearby coffee shop. So you go to Google and type in coffee shops in Union Square, New York City. You'll find a list of, well, just what you typed in, local coffee shops near Union Square, with all the basic information you would expect to find, such as name, address, and phone number. And if they exist, you'll also find reviews, ratings, and links to other relevant resources. These organic listings are free to both the user and to the business. We give you the best results we can find. Now, there are a variety of relevance factors Google uses to match or answer your search query. In this case, locating New York coffee shops near Union Square. Three of the key factors are relevance, prominence, and distance. Relevance is showing you only coffee shops and not unrelated business such as retailers, dry cleaners, and so on. Prominence is determined by how well-known or prominent certain coffee shops are based on sources across the web. And distance is easy. We calculate how far each coffee shop is from Union Square. And if you don't specify Union Square in your search, we'll show you coffee shops based on your general location. So let's talk about these three new products, Google Hotpot, Tags, and Boost. We just introduced a new recommendation engine called Google Hotpot. Using Hotpot, you can easily rate places, whether on your desktop or using our mobile version on your Android. Once you've rated a few places, Hotpot can also recommend other places based on your likes and dislikes. We can also show you places that your friends have reviewed. These recommendations will appear wherever you see business listings in Google search results. Users can get started at google.com slash places on the desktop. Android users can rate from any place page in Google Maps for mobile or with the Rate Places widget, and other mobile users can go to places.google.com on their phone. So, do the hot pot ratings and reviews impact the order and ranking of the local businesses you see on Google? Absolutely. That's the whole point. If you signed in to post ratings and reviews and to receive personalized recommendations in your search results. We do this to deliver more relevant search results and provide a more tailored experience based on your preferences. Business owners can benefit from the millions of people looking for local information on Google. Every business has a Google Place page, and by claiming it in Google Places, a business can update photos, hours of operation, address, phone number, and other important information. To emphasize, a business claiming a Place page does not result in preferential treatment. Of course, more detailed information about a business helps us do a better job connecting people to the businesses they're searching for. So, you might wonder if there's a way for your business to stand out and attract more customers. The answer is yes. Google Tags is a flat fee program we offer to local businesses to make their listings stand out with a little yellow marker on Google and Google Maps. We also recently launched Boost, an online advertising solution to help local businesses connect with potential customers in their area. Pretty cool, right? Just to be clear, neither Tags nor Boost will have any impact on local search ranking or where the listing appears on Google or Google Maps results. We hope this video provides some insight into how the ranking of local listing works and the various factors involved. Thanks for watching, and keep on searching.